In this video, we will be studying about the functions of commercial bank. What are the functions that your commercial bank, bank perform? We have divided these functions into two parts that are your primary functions and secondary functions. Your primary functions includes two. Number one is your accepting deposits. Number two is advancing loans. See, these are the two primary functions that your bank perform and on and the source of bank's earning. See what the bank do when you go to the bank, you open an account, you go to the bank, you deposit your money into the bank. So banks accept the deposits. So a bank accepts deposits from the public. People can deposit their cash balance as checkable deposits or non-checkable deposits means your FDs, your RDs are non-checkable deposits. Your demand deposits I told you are the checkable deposits. So checkable deposits are the deposits against which the check can be issued and they can be withdrawn anytime such as demand deposits where a non-checkable deposits your checkable deposits non-checkable deposits Your checkable deposits are the deposits against which check can be issued and can be withdrawn anytime such as demand deposits. Your non-checkable deposits are the deposits against which check cannot be issued and they cannot be withdrawn anytime you want. They will be, uh, you can withdraw the deposit only after the expiry of the term. The, these are your RDs and FD in the banks. FD is the fixed deposit, RD is the recurring deposit. Then we have the advancing loans. If you need any kind of loan, you go to the bank, you apply the loan from the bank and the uh, bank after the verification approves the loan and give you the money on the interest. Another primary function of the commercial bank is to advance loans. Banks advance loans mostly for productive purposes on approved security. If you have to give the collateral security in order to get the loan from the bank. The amount of loan is generally less than the value of the security. So if you are taking a loan of say 5 lakh. The amount of security that will be approximately of 7 lakh. That depends upon the terms and conditions of the particular bank. So they give loans. So these are the two primary functions of the banks. Then we have your secondary functions. The secondary functions are further divided into two parts. That is your agency functions. and general utility services see what are your agency functions agency functions are the functions where bank behaves as an agent right and journal utility functions are the functions where bank gives you certain services like locker services and then give you traveler checks then uh, banks help you in the transportation of good as they give you the note letters of credit uh, they give you the statistics of a particular company so these are the two types of secondary functions. So first we'll be discussing the agency functions and then the general utility functions. Agency functions, the first function we have is 
collection and payment of various items see bank what bank do bank accepts the payment on your behalf if there is some payment that is due from some other party let's say your company you have to receive salary so what your bank will do they will accept the payment on your behalf and deposit it in your account bank also make payment to the other party suppose you what you do is suppose you have purchased some uh, clothes from the pantaloons let's say you swipe your debit or credit cards and what you do you make the direct payment you make the cashless payment so what bank do is bank make payments on your behalf it, moreover sometimes what happens that your tax is due so what uh, bank do is they deduct the amount of tax from your account and pay it to the government of india so bank do the collection and payment of various items second is purchase and sale of securities securities are the shares right bank normally are more knowledgeable with regard to stock and share business so what bank do is on your behalf they invest your money and purchase and sale of securities they do like the hdfc bank hdfc securities what they do you deposit the money into the bank in your account they will ask you that ma'am please invest that money into the stock market and we will help you in the investment you just have to give us money we will be earning on that part and we will be using our money in the stock markets so what bank do is agency function again a bank is being the third party between you and the stock market financial markets third is the trustee and executor Sometimes bank gives the guarantee of a particular customer. Bank also has a trustee and executor of the property of their customers on their advice. Fourth is remitting of money. What bank do? Suppose if you have to remit your money, if you want to send your money from your Indian bank account to someone. let's say your family is in usa you want to remit your money to uh, the account in the usa of someone of your family so what you do bank helps you to remit the money as well purchase and sale of foreign exchange suppose you have to go to usa you want to convert your rupees into the dollars so what you do you go to the bank you ask the bank so bank helps in the foreign exchange conversions letter of references banks also give some information about the economic position of their customers to domestic and foreign traders See if you are the customer of a bank. Let's say you are a company, X Y Z company, and you are a customer of S B I Bank. So if someone uh, wants to uh, know the financial position of yours, let's say your investor or the government, so banks give the letter of reference to them. Seventh is underwriting. See when you purchase the new shares from someone, it's so a bank is the middleman. So what bank does? Bank as a middle acts as a middleman between the customers and the financial markets or the companies who want to sell their shares. So bank on your behalf buys the shares. So they charge an underwriting commission from you. So this is the underwriting. Banks underwrite the sale of new. shares underwriting means the bank purchase then sells fully or partly owned shares or unsold portion of the new shares suppose a company 
एक्स वाई जेड हैज इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफरिंग एंड वॉन्ट टू सेल शेयर टू पब्लिक सो वट बैंक डू बैंक बिकेम एन एजेंट इन बिटवीन बैंक बाय दी शेयर फ्रॉम दिस कंपनी एंड बैंक सेल दी शेयर टू दी पब्लिक so this is how a bank behaves an underwriter these are the agency functions of bank now we will be discussing the journal utility services now we will be studying about the general utility services so number 1 is your locker facility you all know bank give you the lockers they charge you some amount monthly you can keep your gold your documents in the locker safely second is your travelers check and letter of credit bank issue travelers check and letter of credit to their customers so as to avoid the risk of carrying cash during journey so what you do is you do not carry cash you take the traveler's check and the letter of credit from the bank when you travel you go to the other place you go to the bank and you get the cash out of it third is your business information and statistics suppose uh, if pepsi is a client of uh, state bank of india all the financial work all the money is deposited with the state bank of india so what happens in that case it is the you know duty of the bank to keep all the details all the financial details and the statistics of the pepsi right so in this way your bank it has the business information and the statistics of the client so it helps the customers on the financial matters on the basis of business information and statistical data fourth is help in transportation of goods how they help in transportation of good big businessmen or industrials after consigning goods to their retailers send the railway receipts to the bank the retailer get this receipt from the bank on the payment of the value of the consignment to it having obtained the railway receipt from the bank they get delivery of the consignment from the railway goods office in this way bank helps in the transportation of goods from the production center to the consumption center now see how they ha this happens you are a producer you want to send your goods to let's say coimbatore and you are in delhi so what you will do you will go to the bank you will send a you can send your through the railways you are choosing railway as the mode of transportation so you will issue go to the bank they will issue a railway receipt so a person who is in coimbatore will go to the railways he will make the payment for the consignment to the railway department they will then what they will do they will send this money into the bank and on the confirmation the person in the coimbatore will get the delivery of the goods because it is very risky to send the delivery without the money that you that you if you don't get money by the customer then what will happen so in this way you uh, your bank helps as the middleman so these are the functions of your commercial bank which is again a very important question that is asked in your cbsc board exams